All right, everybody, what is going on? This is Greenlight Fire Station 7. And I know originally I said I was going to do a or a, the forestry department today. Um, but since I've made that video, I've had a couple of people reach out to me and, and uh, said, why don't you go ahead and do uh, Greenlight EMS instead? So I said, okay, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, plus it is EMS week this week, so I figure, um, why not we do EMS stuff first? Um, as I, you guys saw yesterday's video was Engine 7 and Squad 81. So today we're going to review, uh, Greenlight EMS and, uh, some of the history behind Greenlight EMS. As of right now, I have four Greenlight EMS, uh, ambulances, um, these two are in my stations, this is one and two, these are in my stations six and seven, and then this is three and four, and uh, Martin and Man 16 runs three and four in his two stations, but I have replica three and four as well, um, just so I can, we can kind of do mutual aid stuff, and I think he has a replica uh, one and two as well, so basically we send each other pictures of our trucks and we tried to match as close as we possibly could to how we place the stickers and stuff like that. And then I also have uh, a 1950, I think this is a 55 uh, Chevy ambulance um, back when it was Greenlight Fire Department EMS. And then I have also another uh, 1965 Cadillac that's also Greenlight Fire EMS as well. Uh, this one was uh, bought and um, after it was after the unit was used, it was bought and sold off the auction. Auction, somebody else bought it, did this whole beach patrol deal with it, and then sold it, and we bought it back as a parade piece. Um, so this is just a recent purchase as well. So with it being EMS week, and obviously we're paying tribute to, you know, EMS this week, and especially everything that they've been doing as far as the. COVID-19 has been going along and stuff like that. I figure I'd do a little EMS history and then uh, we'll just do a medic review. Um, all four of these trucks are exactly the same. So we'll just go ahead and we'll do the review. These four trucks were pur were purchased um, by me over a period of four months. I bought these two first when I first found out about these. Um... I bought this one later on, and then I bought this one beginning of this year. So this one's a 2020. These ones are 20. Well, these two are 2020s. These two are 2019s. <laughs> because I think I bought these in, like, August or September, maybe even November of 2019. I bought this one December 2019. This one February or March of 2020. So this one's definitely 2020. Anyhow, um... So we'll go ahead and we'll start off with the cars, and then we'll go ahead and we'll talk about the the units in the back. So this truck or this car here, this unit, um, this unit I believe. Let me just double check on the bottom. Yeah, it's a 1955 uh, Chevy uh, panel car. This is a green light. Um, so basically, green light made this as it's an ambulance which they already had this car out already, um, and they basically turned it into an ambulance, and they based it off some fire department or some ambulance or whatever. I'm not really sure exactly who it, who it was, but I rebadged it GLF-1, so Medic-1 of Greenlight Fire Department. It's an emergency car in the front. You have your little, uh, you call these uh, cherry cherry strobes or something. I forget what they're called. You have the light on the top. You have the siren on the front here. This would basically be a 55 Chevy Bel Air except in a station wagon is basically what this car is. There's the other side and then the back. Now because this was just a, a, a station wagon that they handed me into a panel van the interior, the back door opens, but the interior base is exactly the same, so it looks like there's a back seat in there. But the real car, um, which I did some research on it, the real car isn't actually an ambulance. So this would have been the ambulance. They would have ran 55. I'm going to put this off over here. 
Okay, so this one here, this is a matchbox actually, but let me show you guys this. They said that, Greenlight said that this is an actual 150th scale car here, and they're pretty much the same size. Now I know these medics are 150 or 164th scale because I matched them up with a Greenlight International Durastar ambulance I had, had, and the box heights are the same, just obviously the cab height's not as tall, but a regular Chevy Express van next to a International Durastar, you're going to have some height differences anyway, but the boxes are all the same height, which I actually saw when I was living in Florida. They had uh, F450 ambulances, and then they had business class M2 freight liners, and the boxes were all the same height, but the cabs obviously varied, so like the M2, the cab might be up where this red line is, where the F450 might be up like that. So anyway, with that being said, these, I guess, Matchbox's cars would be considered 164th scale. Okay. <clears throat> so this is, let me just double check. I thought I said this was 69. Let me just double, double check. 63. 63 Cadillac. Now, <clears throat> I don't know much about these because I don't really know anybody that was in EMS back when they were running this, um, but this would be a, I think a Miller Meteor, and I think back at the time when these were made, they were actually, um, ambulances, and you could switch them over to hearses, I understand that the floors, you could flip them one way, and you'd have the casket rollers, you flip them the other way, and it would just be just the flat flooring, and then, like, where, like, the captain's seat would be here, it would flip down. This one doesn't seem to look like it because it looks like it's got cabinets and stuff in there. And you can see them, the, the seats kind of against the cabinets and whatnot. So I would, I think this one was not a converted. I think this was just a regular. Um, and, you know, Matchbox did some pretty good detail with it. This car I think I got back in 2013. But you can see, um, if you look here, you can see the pillow and the armrest for the stretcher. And then on this side, you can see... Uh, the bench where uh, maybe a medic would sit, but they also double as, and even in these big ones, they double as a second spot where you can put a, uh, somebody that's on a backboard there so you can carry two and people, basically any ambulance. Have you ever been to back of an ambulance? Um, when you look into the back, and you, these are set up the same as these, where you have your stretcher more to the driver's side of the truck, um, but the passenger side, you have that bench, and then you have this door here to get out. And that bench, you can actually put another stretcher on. So, that's that. Alright, so now let's get to the review of the big truck. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna just going to grab Medic 1. Now, all these trucks are exactly the same. Um, like I said, <clears throat> Medic 1 is a 2019 uh, Osage Type 3 modular mounted on a uh, 4500 Chevy Express van cutaway. All these have the 6.0 liter uh, Vortec gas motor in them. Um, we upgraded from the older Durastars to um, to the Chevys. These were actually a 2019 commemorative Hallmark ornament actually, and I know I tell people a lot that's made by Hallmark, and I don't understand what I'm talking about, and I know a lot of guys have them out, and basically, to make a long story short, Hallmark made a 164th scale, and they've been doing this for a while, 164th scale models, and they chose to do uh, a Chevy ambulance, um, and the only thing that really is difference between like a maybe 164th scale model and this, there's only two differences. The first thing is is most of this is plastic, the box is plastic, the cab is metal, but the box is plastic and it's pretty light. But on the top here where this number one is, there's a a hole and a hook comes out of it. And then you would just put a hook on and hang it from your Christmas tree. Or you just do what I do, pop the hook out and put a number over where the where the roof is. I mean where the number over where the hole would have been and you can't even tell the difference. I mean this truck's got awesome awesome detail. You, you got seats inside, the wheels do roll if you can see that. So the truck rolls perfectly fine. Even if you're somebody that doesn't want to get into modeling but your father or a 
mother watching this and you want to get like a toy ambulance for your kids, um, these are actually great for that as well. Um, I mean, you can see it's even got the mirrors on it. You can see the steering wheel, the seats, and like that. Really good. I don't know why it's got 2012 on the, the bumper, but they all seem to have that. But it's got, you know, really good lights, Chevy emblem, amber lights. Everything's painted really nice. Ambulance there. Same thing on this side, you know, emergency, paramedic, ambulance. The cool thing about this is it's generic. It's not made for an actual ambulance division or fire department or whatever, so you can kind of customize it for your own. So I just put, like, the number, the unit number on the door and on the roof. You can see all of the little handles and stuff are all there for your compartments. The rear of the truck... You have two little hookups here. I think those would be hooks, like tow hooks there. You have all your lights. Now, in this, obviously, it being a 2019, um, everybody knows that they don't do colored lenses on the on the, the box for the lights anymore. Um, they do just because they're LED, so the bulb itself's colored. So them just being silver, that's, that's perfect, model perfect. Um, you have your cab lights, or your clearance lights up top, you have your chevron coloring in the back, you have your brakes, your turn signals, and your reverse lights all there. Let me see if I can use this pen, yeah, you can see right here. You got an ambulance along the back, you have your door handles again. And then they even went as far as giving you a protruding back bumper here. And even went as far as notching out the section of the bumper, you would flip up to get the stretcher closer to the truck to load it in the back. So there's that side. Then back to this side again. You got another warning light up here, small little blinker down here. Now everything I show on this side is the same on the other side. I probably just, I might have just missed it. All your handles, your handles, your cutout for your side door, or window for your side door. Oh, that was weird. Um, that was my uh, landlord moving stuff around, I guess. Ambulance, you have the uh, the heartbeat here, down the side, another little apartment here, another yellow light there, yellow light there. So yeah, all in all these trucks, oh, and then you have your clearance lights along the top, top of the cab as well. So yeah, all in all these trucks are really, oh yeah, and the exhaust pipe here as well. You can see it right there right there so all in all these trucks are or all these medics are very 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 detailed um if you have hallmark card stores where you can pick these up if you are watching this and it's late 2020 your best bet's going to be ordering these off amazon um you just put in hallmark ambulance 2019 or whatever and you can find these if you are watching this the day it's uploaded or within a, like a couple days of me uploading it, if your Hallmark card store is open due to uh, after the coronavirus deal, go in there and pick them up if they're still there because I got these. They were going for like I think $19 a piece. So I got all of these for $19 a piece and then I bought the 2020 when I went back after Christmas and they were selling for like three bucks a piece so if you guys can get them get them now um, and just so you guys have an idea this is uh, May of 20 May 20th of 2020 is when I'm shooting this video uh, it's a Wednesday actually so I always upload same day so if you're watching this I up I you're watching this now I took this video earlier this morning um, so yeah, so if you guys want these, you gotta go get them now. If it's, you know, a year or two now from the date I just said, your best bet is probably just to find them on Amazon or eBay. Um, but they're really, 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 really worth it. Every single penny. I know this year they have a Ford uh, F7 or F850 fire truck that they're coming out with that they're gonna release this year for Christmas. I'd like to just pick one up as a parade piece or something. I might do something with it. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, maybe mix match 
may get one more of these and take the ambulance body off because these ambulance bodies you can see that space there you can take the body right off and have it separate from the cab so um, if you wanted to mount this body on a back of an F450 or something or an F350 or, or something like it and you don't want to spend the money on a green light ambulance the Dura started to do that with you can use these as well it's a pretty cheap alternative so um, a lot of these trucks some of these these trucks are going to be staying but I'm going to be getting because the green light's coming out in August with I think July or August with the green light with the uh, transit van uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy um, one of those transit vans and a couple of those transit vans will probably make ambulances out of them too I, probably not to replace these trucks because they're obviously I just bought them they're fairly new um, but maybe to have for maybe green light fire department or something like that so i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but all right guys well that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh don't forget to like comment subscribe as well as follow me on instagram at green light fire station 7 and uh yeah all right guys well, i'll talk to you later stay safe